Hello, again, this is Hans-Jürgen Clemens from Company Motic speaking to you. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about polarization contrast, which is applied on our upright microscope models BA210, 310, and BA410, the elite versions respectively. Polarization contrast is a very easy contrast method to, to be applied to detect B refringence. What is B refringence? B refringence is a material characteristic which can be found in a lot of materials like crystals, minerals, plastic foils, fibers, but also in biomedical samples like uh, heart muscle cells, starch grains, or uh, secondary uh, plant cell walls. B refringence is based on, let's say, the crystal structure of the material or the, let's say, organized pattern of macromolecules within a, an amorphous matrix. So think about the secondary plant cell wall, for example, where a lot of parallel uh, cellulose bundles are embedded in an amorphous matrix and are impregnated with lignins, some kind of alcohols, and minerals, which give stability to trees up to a height of, let's say, 130 meters. How to detect biorefringence? Uh, for biorefringence, we need two hardware pieces. The first one is a so-called polarizer, which later on will be placed on the light exit of the microscope. In this case, a BA310 a liter, representing all BA210 and BA310 upright models. The polarizer filters out linear polarized light, which is oscillating only in one direction. The second piece of hardware we need is the so-called analyzer, which later on will be placed between the eyepiece tube and the upper part of the microscope. The analyzer generally is in orientation of 90 degrees to the polarizer, means in a perfect alignment condition we do have a dark background and any B refringent structure will be displayed as a bright or even colorful phenomenon on this dark background. In all BF410 models the situation is exactly the same. You have to place your sample between polarizer and analyzer. Regarding the polarizer, the situation is very similar to BA210 and BA310. Remove the protection ring and place the polarizer on top of the light exit. Please note that we do have two slots in the upper part of the microscope. The upper one is for taking the analyzer. Push in the analyzer to the end. And now the procedure is exactly the same. Do a proper curler setup, means use the field diaphragm, use the aperture diaphragm for a perfect bright field illumination. And then you may rotate the polarizer or, in this case, the analyzer until the background is as dark as possible. In our 410 models, we do have an additional option. We can use the compensator first or the red. Please remove the dust cover, the lower dust cover, and you may push in the compensator, which is an option from the price list. Now rotate the compensator until the background, the image background, turns from black or very dark to purple and keep it as it is now. This compensator is simply a second sample, a second b refringent sample, which is placed between polarizer and analyzer. And it will help us to detect a so-called fast direction and a so-called slow direction within the B-refringent sample. This fast and this slow direction gives us an additional information about the substructure of the B-refringent sample because there's one direction where the light passes faster than the other direction. And you can imagine that both directions are orientated at 90 degrees to each other, again, like in the polarizer analyzer situation. There's one additional information for you. Besides the add-on polarizer, we do also have a plug-in polarizer in our BA410 program. Please note that this polarizer only works with the standard flip-in, flip-out condenser, but it doesn't work together with the optional phase contrast condenser. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it gave you some helpful information. More information you can find on our website www.moticeurope.com and of course you find us on YouTube channel. You're invited to visit us on our social media platforms. Thanks again for your attention.